Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at set membership. Is an object in a set? We're going to test that in today's tutorial. Or if it's not in a set, we'll take a look at the not in operator as well. So let's get started. We're going to have A represent a string. We're going to say member like that. And then we're going to create a new set. <coughs> And this set's going to contain member and we're also going to check uh, not member all right so there's our set now we use the in operator to see if the objects in the set so we'll do a in B true it is in B all right so the a uh, variable or object that a represents is in the B data type all right so there you go or data our collection data type so uh, let's take a look at another example so C is going to represent another set and that set's going to be one two three four five and six there's our set and then we're going to use uh, actually we'll just pass an object directly to it so we'll just do seven in C no it's not false we do not have a seven integer in our set up here all right <clears throat> Let's try another one. Let's do a five in, and we'll just put the set here. One, two, three, four, and five, and let's put six. All right, we get true, because five is contained in this set right here, all right? Um, let's take a look at the not in operator. So we can do is 10 in C. Nope, false. Oh, I want to use the not in. So 10 not in C, true, there we go. Um, how about six not in C? We got false because it is in C. Here's six right there. <clears throat> uh, one more example. Let's do a uh, five not in, and we'll just create another set. One, two, three, and four. Close out that set. True. Five's not in one, two, three, and four set. All right. If you guys have any questions about set membership in Python, leave your question below. Be more than happy to help you out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a lovely day.